Hey everyone, it's Yenna and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into cardiovascular disorders and their treatments. We'll cover hypertension, acute coronary syndrome, heart failure, and dysrhythmias. Plus, must know pharmacology, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, calcium, channel blockers, antiplatelet agents, beta blockers, and antiarrhythmics. Get ready to level up your nursing skills. We're kicking things off with hypertension, often dubbed the silent killer. Many don't even know they have it. Untreated hypertension risks stroke, heart attack, and kidney disease. We'll cover the rare system, lifestyle changes and medications to manage hypertension effectively. Let's talk about a true cardiac emergency, acute coronary syndrome. We'll break down ACS from unstable angina to STEMI and NSTEMI and discuss the latest guidelines, including the OMI paradigm, time is muscle. We'll emphasize rapid diagnosis, critical intervention, timeframes and key treatments like aspirin and reperfusion. Heart failure. It sounds scary. And frankly, it can be. This condition develops when the heart can't pump blood effectively to meet the body's demands. We'll discuss lifestyle changes, medications like ACE inhibitors and diuretics, and advanced treatment options for managing heart failure. Our hearts beat to a specific rhythm, and when that rhythm goes haywire, we call it a cardiac dysrhythmia. We'll explore different types of dysrhythmias, from atrial to ventricular fibrillation. You'll learn about ECG patterns, causes and management, including medications and electrical cardioversion. Let's talk medications. First up, ACE inhibitors, a cornerstone in hypertension management. We'll break down how they block the RAS system and their benefits in heart failure and kidney protection. Get ready to understand why these inhibitors are true multitaskers in cardiovascular meds. Next, we're tackling ARBs, or angiotensin II, receptor blockers. Like ACE inhibitors, they relax blood vessels and lower blood pressure by blocking angiotensin II. We'll compare ARBs with ACE inhibitors, discussing their differences and potential side effects. Let's relax and talk about calcium channel blockers. These medications prevent calcium from entering heart and blood vessel cells, causing vasodilation and lower blood pressure. We'll differentiate between types of calcium channel blockers and discuss their uses in hypertension, angina, and dysrhythmias. Aspirin, a medication found in most medicine cabinets, but did you know it's a powerhouse in preventing heart attacks and strokes? This little pill works by inhibiting platelet aggregation. We'll discuss the right dosage for cardiovascular protection and the importance of patient education on aspirin therapy. Let's discuss another group of antiplatelet agents, the P2Y12 inhibitors. These medications, including clopidogrel and ticagrelor, are used with aspirin to prevent blood clots in acute coronary syndrome. We'll explain their role in preventing stent thrombosis and the importance of monitoring for bleeding. Time to put on the brakes and talk about beta blockers. These medications block adrenaline's effects on the heart. 
resulting in a slower heart rate and lower blood pressure. We'll explore their indications from hypertension and angina to heart failure and dysrhythmias. In this chapter, we focus on two powerful antiarrhythmic medications, digoxin and amiodarone. Digoxin strengthens heart contractions and slows a rapid heart rate. Amiodarone treats atrial and ventricular dysrhythmias, requiring careful patient selection and monitoring. We've covered a lot of ground, from understanding cardiovascular disorders to exploring pharmacological interventions. By integrating this knowledge, you'll be better equipped to provide top-notch care. Ensure your patients understand their medications and the importance of adhering to their treatment plan. By staying informed and vigilant, you can make a real difference in your patients' lives and contribute to better cardiovascular outcomes.